to another video on my channel. So today I've got a really exciting haul from Glam and Glitz. They are coloured acrylic powders. I absolutely love Glam and Glitz. I also use um, CJP coloured acrylics and CJP is my core system but I am absolutely in love with Glam and Glitz colours as well. They're the two main brands I use. So I got one of the Glow Acrylics, I also got one of the um, Mood Effect, the ones that change colours from heat, got one of those, and then I got three normal colours, so I got a grey kind of colour from the Colour Acrylic Collection, I also got a kind of a baby pink from the Naked Colour Acrylic Collection, and I also got kind of a purpley pink from, I'm pretty sure this is from the, just the normal, yeah, coloured acrylic collection. So yeah, let's go ahead and swatch these and see what they look like. So we'll start with Afterglow, which again is from the Gl Glow Acrylic Collection. So it looks like in the pot. So I'm just going to be swatching them onto the back of some clear swatch sticks. And the brush I'm using is just a cheap one from eBay, it's just the one I use for when I'm doing swatches of colours. So this is a white acrylic, but it glows a bright blue, so that's going to be really, really cool. Next is Desire, which is from the Colour Acrylic Collection, and it's a grey and it's got a slight sparkle to it. You'll probably be able to see it slightly more when I'm applying it. So with Glam and Glitz, you need to work a lot wetter. Um, CJP is a dry system in comparison. This is a really wet system. So you can see here, it's got that slight sparkle in it. It's a really pretty colour. I'm in love. Yeah, I'm just showing you closer up. You can see that sparkle there. Then we've got Mud Bath, which is a mood acrylic collection. So with heat, it changes colour. So it starts off this like muddy brown which sounds awful but it's really pretty and then goes to kind of like a beigey pink nude I think that's the best way to describe it so this one you can immediately see it's got more chunkier glitters in it it's not a chunky glitter but it's more um it's got more of a glittery effect to it than the previous color then we've got Teresa from the color acrylic collection it looks really bright pink on here, but it's more of a, a very plum pink, I would say. Slightly deeper in colour. I um, I think this is my favourite. I really like it, and it's so opaque, you can see there. It's like pigment, painting pigment onto the nail. I do find with most of um, Glam & Glitz acrylic, they are just so highly pigmented. They're beautiful to work with as well. And then we've got Central Perk, which is from the Naked Colour Acrylic Collection. This is a gorgeous um, baby pink, kind of a Barbie pink. Like a Barbie pastel. It's not a bright pink, it's kind of a pastel Barbie pink. Also super pigmented. I'm in love with this colour as well. Perfect for spring. One coat, amazing. So I'm just going to show you them now that they're all dry. So you've got Afterglow. So you can see them matte when they're dry. Next up you've got Desire. And you can see that subtle sparkle running throughout. Next we have Mud Bath and you can see here I'm showing the colour change so it's kind of like a dusty rose nude pink and then it changes to kind of a grey brown muddy colour. I absolutely love this mood effect. Then you've got Teresa. You can see here in the swatch it's slightly darker than what is in the pot, it's kind of a bit more of a plum base to it. And then we've got Central Perk, which is again that soft baby pink, it is a gorgeous colour, no sparkle in this, it's just a cream colour, it's gorgeous. 
So there are all five of the colour swatches. I really hope you enjoyed this swatch video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more hauls and swatch videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, bye!